The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new foes appeared. Today's episode is going to be an episode to tie in with a recently released remake. I haven't received my copy yet as I'm recording this, so I thought while I wait for it to come, I thought why not do a foe from this newly released remake. And if you want to know who it is, take a look at this. That right, Vivian from Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is who we are going to talk about today. I do apologise in advance if my microphone does sound a bit off. I did just buy a new microphone kit from Amazon and I'm just testing to see if it works. But back on topic, the reason I was triggered to do Vivian in a new Foes Appeared is because of the most recently released remake of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, And I thought, since it's in the certified gold club, why not give The Thousand Year Door a rep? And I ended up choosing Vivian. I couldn't pick Goombella, because I already did Goomba. I couldn't do Captain Barbary, because I already did King bob -omb. So in the end, I landed on Vivian. So, and it's not like I'm going to do a rep for every Paper Mario game, for obvious reasons of course, but even if we only do two Paper Mario reps with Paper Mario himself and Vivian, I'm fine with the Paper Mario lineup I have here. So, without further ado, let's get into it shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special I went with Shade Fist. Holding the button, Vivian summons a dim flame in her hand that she can fuel. She lets go and launches herself forward, delivering a strong punch surrounded by dark flames. The move leads to more damage and knockback the longer it is charged. When fully charged, it also leaves the opponent with a burning effect that gradually deals more damage. This technique, which combines close quarters fighting with zoning, which is modeled after her signature attack from Paper Mario of the Thousand Year Door. For the side special, I went with Fiery Jinx. Vivian uses a quick motion attack of her fingers to conjure a little explosion like flash of flame in front of her. The move is good for 
punishing rolls and dodges because of its moderate range and several strikes. For a brief while, the flames persist, serving as a trap to manage space and stop the adversary from advancing carelessly. This strike adds management element to her kit and showcases her magical skills. For the up special, I went with Veil. Vivian uses her power to blend in with the shadows to her advantage by blending in to the earth and emerging at the predetermined distance and controllable spot. She's unstoppable when moving into the shadows, making it a flexible recovery move that can elude attempts at edge guarding. She can also use this move to play mind games, giving her opponents uncertainly and allowing her to vary up her landing possibilities. For the dance special, I went with Shadow Sneak. For a moment, Vivian disappears under her shadow and is untargetable. She can freely travel in any direction while in this form, and she can quickly re-emerge by swiping upward to do damage and knock opponents away. The technique is excellent for breaking out of combinations, avoiding assaults, and preparing unexpected counterattacks. It highlights her theme of stealth and guile, which makes her a difficult character to define. And for the final smash, I went with Sisters of Shadow. In an effective team attack, Vivian calls on her sisters Marilyn and Beldum. With their combined magic, the three summon all nearby opponents into a vast and murky vortex. When someone is caught in the vortex, it erupts with dark energy, causing severe damage and severe knockback. And this dramatic strike acts as a devastating finisher while showcasing the united power of the Shadow Sirens. For her alternate costumes, the first one we have Vivian's default colours, where Vivian appears purple with her signature red hat and gloves. The second alt will be inspired by Beldum, where Vivian wears a blue outfit with a matching hat and gloves, inspired by her sister Beldum. Her third alt would be Marilyn inspired, where she wears a yellow outfit with a yellow hat and gloves. Shining Star would be a bright and glittery silver suit with a white hat and gloves, giving her a celestial appearance. Shadow Queen will be a dark, almost black outfit with crimson red details, paying homage to the Shadow Queen. The sixth alt would be Hot Pink, where Vivian would appear in a, a vibrant hot pink outfit, with a matching hat and gloves for a more playful look. For the seventh alt, we have Emerald Enchanter, a green outfit with darker green accents, giving her a more earthy vibe to her appearance. And for the eighth alt, we have Golden Flame, a golden outfit with orange hat and gloves, symbolizing her fiery abilities in a striking manner. For the classic mode route, I went with Shadows of the Past, with round one being Luigi, round two being Bayonetta, round three being Zelda and Sheik, round four being Dark Pit, round five being Bowser, and round six being Mewtwo, with the final round being Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And finally, for the stage, I picked Creepy Steeple from Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which released in 2004. I did initially think about including Rogue Port as Vivian's stage, since that is a key location in Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, but instead I thought I would go with the Creepy Steeple, because it aligns better with Vivian's character. The stage would feature two smaller floating platforms on either side of the larger central platform. In the background, the menacing steeple 
rises above the background of gloomy scary forests where ghostly apparitions are sometimes seen hovering by. So guys, what did you think of Vivian from Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door? I have wanted to do a second Paper Mario rep as a response to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. But unfortunately, with all the Paper Mario games not being that great, ignoring Super Paper Mario, the Origami King was alright, but unfortunately, the reason I can't do any more reps for the Paper Mario franchise is because of Sticker Star and Color Splash. Those are the two games I'm blacklisting from a new foes appeared for reasons. And since I do have a long blacklist of games and franchises for new foes appeared, like Balan Wonderworld, I can confirm now that Sticker Star and Color Splash are both on the blacklist for a new foes appeared. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And I will see you all in a future video. BB8 out.